Good day, engineers. Para sa video natin ngayon, ang i-discuss natin will be uh, the concepts under the ultimate bearing capacity. But before we proceed to uh, other concepts on the ultimate bearing capacity, so syempre, dun muna tayo sa failure modes of shallow foundation which is very important in our topic regarding ultimate bearing capacity kasi nandito yung parts ng general shear failure and yung uh, local shear failure na kung saan uh, yun yung ginagamit natin to determine or yan yung ginamit nung mga nag-derive ng ultimate bearing capacity equations in determining uh, the bearing capacity of our soil. So, we'll start with the failure modes of shallow foundation under the general shear failure. So, the first type will be the general shear failure. Uh, sabi dito sa definition niya, occurs in dense soil. Complete shear failure develops from a corner of the foundation and extends to the ground surface. Then, as the foundation overturns to one side, the soil on the other side is pushed up at the ground surface. This failure occurs suddenly and is the most catastrop catastrophic to the structure. So, alam naman natin na from our superstructure is magpo-produce to ng overturning moment kasi meron tayong earthquake uh, loads, meron din tayong wind loads and other lateral loads na pwede nating uh, may lagay dun sa superstructure. So, so, yung mga loads na yun sa superstructure is makaka-apekto dun sa underlying foundation or uh, the soil itself. So, ang nangyayari dito sa general shear failure Kaya din siya tinawag na general kasi uh, sabi nga dito that is the most catastrophic to the structure. So siya yung tinitignan natin na pinakakritikal sa lahat ng modes of failure under the shallow foundation. Why? Is it because under this uh, failure as you can see kapag merong overturning from our superstructure so kung nagkakaroon ng earthquake loads, the tendency of the soil under uh, the general shear failure is uh, nag-overturn siya. So, ang tendency, patulak dito, tapos lifting yung uh, dito na part. Then, kapag tinulak daw niya, tapos mag nagkaroon ng general shear failure, ang tendency ng foundation or yung soil itself is dumulas or magkakaroon siya dito ng shear surface and then mag, uh, possibility it will extend upward so ibig sabihin ito bababa tapos aangat to then yung soil aangat din papunta dun so ang tendency magkakaroon ng bulging dito so bubukol yung soil and yung uh, superstructure natin is nakatagilid na siya na ganyan. So, kaya siya yung most catastrophic in nature kasi ito yung pinaka-possibility na mag-overturn yung superstructure due to the failure ng foundation natin. And remember, sabi niya dito, it occurs in dense soil. Ibig sabihin, medyo mabigat yung soil kasi dense uh, siya. And, Ayun nga, the failure develops from a corner of the foundation. So, ito yung corner ng foundation, dun siya nagsimula, and then nagkaroon ng bulging on the other side. Ibig sabihin, napunta dun yung some parts of the soil due to uh, that shear failure. So, that will be the first uh, failure mode of our foundation or of the shallow foundation lahat ng equations na may encounter natin is dito galing or from this siya din arrive due to general shear failure our next failure mode will be the local shear failure uh, 
it says here na it occurs in medium dense soil and the shear failure develops from a corner of the foundation and extend locally to the adjacent area beneath or beside the foundation. The failure does not extend to the ground surface as and as the foundation overturns to one side, a small bulge on the ground surface is uh, visible on the opposite side. It is not a sudden failure, instead the foundation will gradually settle and tilts in the subsoil. So, dito naman, sa failure na to, ang tendency ng soil, uh, syempre merong overturning moment or overturning na force that will cause this failure pa rin. And, syempre dito magko-compress and dito may tension. So, ang tendency naman nito is unlike dun sa general shear failure, hindi siya sudden failure. Uh, gradually yung settlement niya. So, ang nangyayari dito is bumababa lang to paunti-unti hanggang itinutulak niya yung soil at a certain point dun sa kabilang side ng foundation. So, ditong side na to. So, ang tendency is parang nagkifail siya or nagsisettle yung foundation paunti-unti pero yung soil is nahihinto yung pagkakaroon niya or nahihinto yung accumulation niya at this point. So, ang tendency pa rin nun, hindi siya magbabulge na masyadong malaki on the top soil pero may small bulges pa rin which is visible on the part of the uh, top soil or on the ground surface itself. So, this local shear failure, sabi nga, it occurs on a medium dense soil. So, unlike dun sa general shear failure, nag-occur siya on a dense soil. And, uh, ang difference niya is dito, gradually settle and tilts. So, meron pa rin tilting on the superstructure and on the foundation itself, but the difference is that dito occurs suddenly. So, kaya siya yung catastrophic. Kasi, ito hindi natin masyadong uh, mapagahandaan kasi biglaan siya. Dito, nakikita ng paunti-unti or gradual yung settlement. And that will be the local shear failure. And the last uh, failure mode will be the punching shear failure. So, punching shear failure, uh, this occurs in loose soil. The failure only develops beneath the foundation and the foundation settles into the ground. Overturning a foundation does not occur. The structure does not meet the service requirement due to excessive settlement. So, dito, parang nangyayari is nagkakaroon ng uh, settlement dun sa soil. That is due na loose siya. Ibig sabihin, ito yung most common na nangyayari sa mga roads natin. Kasi nga, hindi niya na atin yung kailangang compaction. So, kung meron tayong ina na compaction ng soil para hindi siya magsettle or hindi mangyari tong punching shear failure, so, kailangan natin sundin yun para hindi agad masira yung foundation kasi kailangan compacted siya so most common to na nangyayari dun sa roads natin kasi hindi masyadong uh, compacting soil so walang overturning na involved sabi dito so walang overturning na involved ayan Overturning of foundation does not occur. So, meron lang tayo nung tinatawag na large settlement. So, this is due to uh, an actual load. So, kaya magandang example dito yung roads kasi ang, na, ang nilalagay lang natin doon, usually axle loads. So, which are uh, actual loads. And ang tendency is kung hindi compacted, yung soil on the ground, ang tendency nito is kapag 
inaplan mo siya ng actual load din masyadong loose yung soil hindi siya compacted so ang tendency this one so ang mangyayari is kung ito yung actual load ang tendency yung uh, pavement is magsesettle at a certain uh, point kasi nga loose yung nasa ilalim nya so itong part na to will be magiging ganyan so kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng bako bako na daan kasi that is due to a loose soil and that is a punching shear failure under a failure mode of a shallow foundation so yun yung magandang example for this type of uh, failure so that will be all for the failure modes of a shallow foundation again this is engineer rodolfo thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to butch tv